Vigilante Winston here, and I'm making this video not quite as a follow up of the Devin Haney video I just made, where I'm probably the only person on earth who at least defends or understands Devin Haney suing Ryan Garcia. It's under the guise of him being done, though. It's not like it's under the guise of he can no longer be a top level boxer, he might as well sue. That is the thought process. And I started to realize this whole generation has crashed out. I mean, Ryan Garcia himself is crashing out. Tia Fimo has crashed out, got divorced, family issues. And then you have Tank, who doesn't want to fight anybody. You have Shakur St Stevenson, who really doesn't want to fight anybody. I mean, he might get in the ring with people, but he doesn't really want to fight. He just kind of wants to run. Devin Haney himself, who was kind of a weight bully this whole time. And though... He's not really considered. I, the, the, I guess the one guy who might have hope is Boots, but Boots really isn't quite in that same class. He's kind of a class ahead, and he's already up. So he's the only guy that may have any hope of doing, you know, what he's supposed to do. And I say that like, you know, Tia Fimo has won titles in multiple weights. Devin Haney was a uh, undisputed at 135. So I don't want to discount the accomplishments of this crew. But they peaked with the Tank Ryan Garcia fight. That was the peak. They don't have another one as a as the whole collective. And like I said, I'm I'm, I'm thinking about Boots, and I'm not you know I think Boots have more potential than the rest of the crew I just said. But I'm not sold on Boots 100 percent either. Um, we're still in the ghost of Mayweather. So everyone's fair weather when it comes to picking fights. I'm looking at the potential this generation had. A lot of people wanted the four kings, maybe five kings if you count all of them. Uh, talking about Haney, Garcia, Lopez, Tank, and Shakur. Um, I don't see it, man. I don't see it. Not only is Turkey Al Sheik, who's the only thing that boxing has to get fights made consistently the closest thing to Dana White that boxing has not only is he not really interested in a lot of the lower weights at least not as of yet it's just I don't see these guys ever really doing enough to max out their potential I don't see it like they're not trying they're not trying um we did I guess get the Ryan Garcia Devin Haney fight at least the first one but Obviously, Ryan was on PEDs, and, you know, the, the outcome is what it is. It's on no contest. It didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see Devin Haney coming back to be a top-level fighter. I don't see Shakur. You know, Shakur has a lot of talent. That's, you know, you know that's without a doubt he has a lot of talent. But I don't see him necessarily doing what maybe you, you thought he was doing. I mean, he was pretty good at 130. But now at 135, he, he seems a lot, you know, more tentative. Tank is a really good fighter, but I, I he's probably older. I think he might even be 30. Uh, but I don't really see him fighting anybody who's a threat. He kind of feels like he can do the baby Canelo thing where it doesn't really matter who he's going to fight. People are going to turn up and pay for his fights just because of his own clout. And to some extent, he's correct. So it's like, well, if none of these guys are going to really push themselves, this whole generation is kind of already over, isn't it? You know what I mean? We we look at these guys as young. Like I said, Tank is probably the only one who is 30. Everyone else is younger than that. And they've all crashed out. And I don't know if you want to blame social media for Garcia and Tiafimo Lopez's crash out. Um, you could probably blame Ryan Garcia for... Um, Haney's or you can blame Loma because I think he took enough damage in that fight um, and just I just think you know Haney was always kind of chinny shit there was rumors that Haney was fighting like Uber drivers in Mexico or whatever uh, to get some of his early pro wins that's another thing we have a messed up development system in American boxing I've been critical of other development systems like how the Eastern European system where they just stay in the amateurs too long but if there is a plus with that when they come up they're ready to go they're not fucking around they're not pussyfooting around Usyk 
didn't pussy for the round. Better BF didn't pussy for the round. Loma didn't pussy for the round. Let's let's get to it. I know people are critical, and rightfully so, of some of Loma's opportunities that he was able to get so early. Okay, fair enough. But they don't fuck around. They go at it. Um, American right now. I mean, even the British has a a leveling up system of being local than British level, than European level, than world level. There's a better development system where the America, you know, we're just about selling bullshit. Let's just be honest. Like I said, it's a post Mayweather system, post Mayweather era. A bunch of guys just fluff their record up and posture on social media and try to griff money out the fans. That's really what happens here. We don't have a good development system. I mean, Cuba has a great amateur system to the point where they don't even... You know develop the pros properly but i think that's that's part of it is america's just you know we used to have a great amateur system back in the day back in the gold glove era back when everybody boxed you know what i mean everybody and their dad boxed you know going 90s 80s 70s 60s 50s and on back but that's not what it is anymore and so now you have guys who come up they're able to fluff up their record a little bit uh, and then they're able to get a lot of status off social media. And then we're also in the post Jake Paul world too. Not just post Mayweather, we're post Jake Paul, we're post KSI, we're post Misfits. So you see it's more about hype. I mean, look at Tommy Fury. Not even a world level fighter, but because of the Misfits range or Misfits class, you know, the Jake Paul class, he's able to have a career in boxing just with that class. And I think that that's permeated, especially over in America here with our boxers and a, a lot of the lower level boxers. I mean, you, shit, if I really want to expand, I can say this whole era, just not just the lower weights, but even the, the heavyweights. I mean, think about Anthony Joshua being a two time unified world champion and the motherfucker can't even hold his hands up consistently and move out of the way of punches. The level of quality of fighter has dropped and has been dropping for a while. I'm not trying to shit on everybody. Usyk's obviously a very skilled fighter. There's a lot of skilled fighters, right? But it's just not the same. The 2000s was the last era where everyone had to go through a certain amount of development to get to where they were or get to where they are. And I, I don't see that anymore. And as a result, we have this uh, kind of crash out era. You know, all respect to Inoue. All respect to the real fires, Bivol. There's a lot of good fires. I'm not trying to just shit on the whole sport. I still love the sport. Uh, what is, uh, what's his name? Counterpunch say. The sport that I love, that I hate, that I love. Some shit like that. You know, I still love boxing, but man, I just don't see it. Especially for this generation. This generation of... Guys who were, you know, a little under 130 to 135, we thought this was going to be the future. This is going to be the four kings. Everybody was going to move up and and, and show greatness. I don't see it, man. I could be wrong. I still think some of these guys are going to continue to fight and continue to maybe have interesting fights. And there's, there's still some good boxing matches to be had. Maybe some of them will fight each other a little bit more. I mean, obviously, some have. But I don't see it, man. I don't see it. I think this gen generation is kind of lost. This whole boxing generation was lost. But what do you think? You tell me. You tell me. You agree. You disagree. Be civil. I know everybody gets all crazy. It's boxing. None of these boxers are going to uh, come pay your bills. They're not going to pay mine. Rather, you like them or hate them. Or they're not going to come and try to uh, find you. You know what I'm saying? You got... A critical word about them but be civil in the comments i appreciate anybody watching this video uh thank you peace